We're recording again. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I have summoned Nox behind his uh, trusty computer so that we could do a almost like a hangout thing or 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 discussion thing about uh, all things Seeker because mm -hmm. we're about to finish the final chapter soon and uh, and that means release and uh, and all that comes with it and we wanted to discuss and share uh, certain details about the book and about the Chaos Nova universe uh, in general. One thing I should mention is that uh, if you do want to stay up to date on all the details and all that sort of thing, chaosnova.co.uk, we post sort of bi-monthly updates or whenever something, like when we come to the end of a chapter, Yeah. sometimes we post an update, but <laughs> that is, if you want more up-to-date stuff, that's usually the place to get it. Yeah, also the um, website links to the forum and the forum is where it's at. Forum is most excellent. I mean, not everybody can access everything, but uh, but even so, the even the public part of the forum still has some life in it, and uh, I I think uh, we post almost weekly in there. Yeah. And, and there's of course all the discussions going on in the in the inner compound, which will be mm. secret and everything. But yes, do do check it out, nevertheless. Um, so yeah, we're, di we're discussing Seeker, and in the last video we talked about what a Seeker actually is. Okay, so Nox has been supplied with fresh tea, and I have had to turn my light on because it's getting twilighty out there. And our next topic in agenda is... Jewel Harper, the seeker of seeker fame. <laughs> seeker fame, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so Jewel is the protagonist for the seeker, or seeker. Mm -hmm. I need to remember it's just called seeker nowadays. Um, and ah, uh, she's she's from one of the other uh, areas in the universe known as our chaos. For uh, it tends to be quite well. The area she comes from or the family she comes from quite well off let's say but she didn't like any of that she uh, she decided that she was going to do something different with her life and she took herself off to the Seekers she'd heard lots of stories and I think I might be going a bit too much backstory here but do you continue do you want to continue okay so th there was a lot of Jewel was fed a lot of stuff as as a young lady about how awesome the Seekers were. So she took herself off to the Seekers because she didn't want to get involved in all the all the stuff that was going on at Archaos. And uh, to this end, she ended up at the Rystar Seeker Hub that we mentioned in the last video. And uh, she received her training there. And she... I... This, is, this might be a bit too much now, but in my head, it was always that Jewel was looking for freedom. Mm-hmm. She's she her big thing was that she wanted to be free, mm -hmm. and then when she got to the the Rystar Seeker Hub, uh, and she did all her training and everything like that, and she started running solo missions, it wasn't exactly the freedom she thought it was going to be. So now it's sort of like she she does her job and she's very good at her job from what we can tell at the beginning of the mm -hmm. book she she when she's talking to certain people she compares herself to other seekers in the business and and she considers herself to be one of the better ones mm -hmm. um so from there um she she sort of got this mentality of like well if i if i can't find the freedom that i i 100% was looking for or what i imagined my freedom was going to be like I'm going to do this instead. So she, she does her job, she gets her job done, she does it as quickly and painlessly as possible, and then she returns and picks up another contract. And she's, she's sort of like a machine, in a way. She, she gets a job, does the job, jumps out. I think this is a very important sentence in the book. She jumps yeah. out, <laughs> does the job, jumps back, and then picks up another contract, and, and Raptor says, oh, you're like a machine. It's Surely this isn't healthy. So, um, and I think an important note here is that uh, while she considers herself to be 
very good, very professional, and she's well trained. She's also rather immature. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, we don't, as, as a uh, as a deliberate choice, we don't specify anybody's age in the book in terms of Earth years, but uh, but she is. She she is literally young adult, mm-hmm. uh, so the uh, the applicable range would be like probably early twenties. The uh, the pers- personal perception of time or the personal passing of time can can vary a bit due to certain technologies, but basically she's she's old enough to consider herself a specialist. I think uh, in the blurb we even called her a junior specialist, mm-hmm. but uh, but uh, sh- there's oh there's a lot to learn. <laughs> yes. Oh yes. She's also quite outspoken when people press her. Like if if someone says something she doesn't agree with, she likes to think that she holds her tongue on some occasions, but really she doesn't. She will tell Raptor straight up what she's thinking. Uh, yeah, I, f- I think it's I think it's more like um, she doesn't necessarily put herself into a position where she would have to talk too much. Yeah, and that's the other deliberate thing is that she makes visits. So for example, we catch up with her as she's making a... a, a mm, did we call it a twilight? No, we didn't call it a twilight visit. We called it something. She makes a late night visit to the station to drop off her thing and uh, to drop off her bounty yeah, because so sp- speak, speaking of the speaking of the sort of day night cycle within a space station so it's it's artificially maintained but people there do have their rhythm and she yeah. she basically she has picked uh, she is choosing the time where it's the quietest where the she- businesses have closed up and the morning businesses haven't started up yet, and uh, and where she can sort of do her do her business without uh, too many encounters. She actively, uh, like she actively turns up at the station at those times because she doesn't like mm. dealing with other people. And even so far as to the the when she settles into a bar, she doesn't look for the biggest, flashiest, busiest, nightlifiest bar. She goes into the depths of the station to find the the one that's out of the way that no one really knows about. Even the locals are a bit like, oh, you don't really want to go there. It's a quiet place, you know? <laughs> like, it's out the way. Nobody really goes there sort of deal. And uh, that speaks to her personality, I think. Is she, Like you said, she doesn't... She doesn't get into situations where she has to speak her mind because she doesn't get into com- into situations where mm. she has to speak to many people so yeah she's so cool I love Jewel she's just the best <laughs> but she's she's definitely got some character flaws and definitely some yeah <laughs> she's an she, interesting she's so. gonna she's gonna fuck up <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> but it will be glorious. <laughs> it's glorious when it happens. <laughs> okay, now now we have veered from characterization to advertising. Let let us return to the <laughs> interesting ground. Yeah, r- roll it back in. Um So yeah, she, she's she is the seeker of the title uh, title. Uh she is. Yeah. And uh I don't know if we've touched on this in this particular section but she is called Valkyrie in the Seeker circles because um, in Seeker, it, nobody knows her real name in, in Seeker circles. And I think that's an important thing. That's, you know. That's an actual plot point, yes. Yeah. Like, I don't know why she picked the name Valkyrie. I'm sure when I came up with the name, there was a very good reason. <laughs> But it's like there's another overseer and he's called Raptor, and that was very much a case of ah, oh, that sounds cool. But now yeah, yeah. Uh, another another seeker who is uh, her supervisor, yes. whose rank is overseer. Mhm. So you've got overseer Raptor rank, and 
when in the beginning it was it was sort of like when we were creating these characters it was sort of like a placeholder name like Valkyrie, Raptor, Wraith, these sorts of things. They were sort of placeholder names. But over time it's actually become a case of during the edits you've taken these names and you've actually put personalities to them if that makes sense like you've made Raptor more of a person than just a placeholder name now so um well originally they were just going to be like oh yeah cool cool throwaway names <laughs> they're actually they've actually got more meaning to them now mm. and uh i like that yeah well i can't say that i have actually tried to bring personality to name but uh, I'm, I'm guessing that as the characters grew some more flesh on them, mm -hmm. the names became more meaningful in the process. So yeah, I think that's probably it. So that's 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 where it uh, that's where it grew from. Yeah. And that's okay. <laughs> you know, like sometimes you don't have to come up with the perfect name to begin with. Sometimes the p the perfect sometimes it is the perfect name, and you don't even realise it until you're sort of like three months, four months down the line, and you're, you know, through the edits and and stuff like that. So, yeah, that was just a little bit of author noting there. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Now I would say that uh, we have learned a few things about Joel now. And uh, I would wrap up this video soonish. Spoilers, uh, she's awesome. That's all you need to know about Jewel. Is she? She is awesome. Okay. And when you read the book, you'll figure out all the cool stuff. And uh, yeah. her foil is that she's convinced that she is awesome. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and that's the awesome thing. It's also awesome, honestly. And I know this sounds like advertising, but please, please, if if you don't want to read the whole book, at least check out some of the samples because there are samples available and th they are fantastic. And. Yes. Anyway, I will leave. Uh, I I will uh, let Nux have his opinion on this, <laughs> on, the, on the on the superlatives here. Uh, but what I was actually gonna try, uh, what I was actually gonna say is, what uh, would you pick for the uh, next uh, video topic? Oh, um, I think probably location. Location like a single locations or or you mean more generally speaking? I uh my notes do say some stuff about our chaos, but I think that's gonna require some in depth conversation between the two of us before <laughs> uh any any furtherness. And we've sort of touched on all that Rystar contains for this story, you know, so I don't think it's a good idea to do Rystar and any of the <laughs> other locations are sort of stepping into spoiler territory. Yeah, and we don't want to give out any spoilers, like major spoilers, do we? No. The uh, the only other person I can think of that deserves his own profile is sort of Raptor, but again, we need to have a little conversation about that mm. to make sure that I don't stray into spoiler territory and to also make sure that I don't sort of like do what I've just done with Jewel. It's like, she's awesome, she's the best. Of course I'm going to say that. She's <laughs> one of our characters. So, um... Yeah, I I think we need to have discussions on that. But apart from that, yeah. So let's let's wrap it up here, and I think I have an idea for the next one as well. But awesome. uh, I think I I will I, I will get to it in a minute. But for now, everybody, thank you for watching, and we shall see you in the next one. Bye.